What's up guys, I'm back again with another video here on Broke Man Racing and today we're going to try something a little bit different. Now we're going to be doing the actual washer pump install but the only difference is today I'm going to be using the head cam and um, usually I don't really use that. I used it in the other video for um, the first drive so we're going to try to use it again and if you happen to see me uh, use a rear view mirror lens it's just so you guys get the right perspective it's just me checking to make sure that the camera sees everything it's supposed to see so without further ado let's get into it so here we are we're going to be doing the install now so this is the part number here not sure if you guys can really read that hopefully you can but uh I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here so now this setup is actually um, the bottle here is uh, for the washer fluid then you have the tank itself I'm gonna be taking off this line and catching the fluid back into the bottle it came from obviously then from there we're going to take this pump out and put our new pump in So, I'm going to just start here with a screwdriver, just kind of gently pry this back, starting to see some fluid come, so we're just going to hold this over here, hopefully get this to pop off. She should be out right now. Three. Oh, there she goes. All right, a little bit of a mess, but it's bound to happen. Just open the top. Let some air in there. Let it flow. Just let that all drain out. Still going, still going, still going. I'll uh, update you guys back after this uh, fully drains out. Okay, so now that we have this fully drained, right? What we're going to be doing here now is taking out the pump itself. So, I'm just going to gently wiggle this. You could also tell it's a little in there. See if I could persuade it with a screwdriver. Use a flathead. That seems to actually work a lot better. So get a flathead in there. Okay. Let's see if we could. No, she's uh, she's pretty pretty much in there. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go spray some uh, rust penetrant in here, kind of lube it up. Maybe some silicone instead. Just lube this up and see if I could pry it out. Checking my point of view, making sure you guys have a good view. Okay. All right, so I just sprayed some penetrant on it. Hopefully I can persuade this thing. Get a bigger flathead. Not realize this was gonna be this labor intensive. There we go. Finally popped off. So gonna set this old one to the side. 
put that one there and we're gonna clean this up and we'll be right back all right so we're all cleaned up I'm just checking my view again making sure you guys can see okay so we're all cleaned up and sorry I skipped over but these top two bolts are just tens nothing special um so we're all cleaned up on the grommet side and we have our new part we're opening looks much much better than what we're coming from and we're just gonna stick this one in there and firmly press down slips right in huh it's almost like it was made to be there <laughs> but uh yeah so that works the way it's supposed to um let's put everything back in test it For this portion, we're just going to pour in uh, a small amount just in case. Uh, so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that uh, this fixes the problem. Got the tank about quarter full. I just need to tighten those two tens. Looking for the tool, got it here. You don't want to put too much torque. These are small bolts, so they don't really need much. All right, so that's solid. And we're going to plug our factory plug back in and we're gonna jump to the interior and see if we fixed it. All right, so moment of truth. Gonna turn on the key. We're going to hit the wiper stock and see what happens. Hey, look at that. We now have working jets. That is awesome. So, this confirms my testing from the video before that the pump was the problem all along and that it actually was not the wiring or anything else electrical related. So, that being said, I think this concludes this video. You know, nothing crazy, it's just short showing you the install once again part number if you watched my last video before this where I did the diagnosis this is in the description but I figured I'd uh, put it on screen again so I'm just gonna fill this back up and uh, we're all done guys thank you for watching today I really appreciate it and uh, stay tuned <laughs>